drones made by DJI, a $15 billion Chinese company, have become such an important part of Ukraine's resistance to Russia's unprovoked invasion that officials in the besieged country are setting aside concerns about the considerable political baggage that comes with them. Mohailo Fedorov, Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister and Chief of the Ministry of Digital Transformation, who has become something of a media star in the last month for his ingenuity and defiance in the face of overwhelming odds, posted photos on Monday of new DJI Mavic 3 unmanned aerial vehicles in WH. Fedorov said Ukraine had bought two, 372 quadcopters and 11 military unmanned aerial vehicles for $6. 8 million. The money was donated by the Comeback Alive Fund, which has been accepting donations for the defense of Ukraine since Russia's 2014 invasion and annexation of Crimea. China hasn't chosen sides on the war in Ukraine and has refused to condemn the slaughter of civilians ordered by Russian President Vladimir Putin. That's put DJI and its billionaire owner, Frank Wang, in a bind. The company insists its drones are not intended for military use despite all the evidence to the contrary. We do not support any use of our products that harm people's lives, rights, or interests, as we have always reiterated in our products terms of use and other public statements, said a DJIS. We do not provide technical support when our products are used for military purposes. Ukrainians are also sensitive to the charges, true or not, that DJI is under the influence of the Chinese Communist Party and could be collecting data on the use of its drones. Every Chinese firm is under the Chinese government, said the spokesperson for a unit supporting the Ukraine military called Aerorosvitka, which uses drones. We use them but we're not going to make any ads for DJI. DJI has been accused before of having a chummy relationship with Beijing and has long brushed off those worries. It denies its drones send data to the Chinese government and stresses that users can turn off internet settings to stop information going anywhere. DJI has also had to fend off claims that its technology was used to support human rights abuses. The U S put the company on an export control list in December, implicating DJI in the persecution of China's Uyghur minority. Americans were barred from trading in the company's securities, a year after DJI was barred from buying new S technology. DJI has previously said it's done nothing to justify the U S actions. Fedorov's office declined to comment on how the drones were used. The Ukrainian military didn't immediately respond to requests for an explanation. DJI promotes civilian drone applications that benefit society, a DJI spokesperson said.